Good evening, beautiful people. How are you feeling? I hope you beautiful people. And not only do I hope, but I believe that you beautiful people had a good day throughout the course of your day and a good day throughout the course of your life throughout the day and also as well had a good day at work. And I'd like to thank and believe also after having you and your co-workers had a, had, a, had a jolly good time at, at work today. You know, you're, you all are getting past, you know, that confusion point. Now you're coming closer or have arrived to that fusion point. Well, you have allowed love, kind words and smiles. And it's fusion. It's, it's fusion of beauty. To wholesomely bring you beautiful people together. And the beautiful spirit and the mindset with, with no longer wanting to contend with one another or to engage in that contention, but to listen to what each other has to say to one another, to inspire each other and to encourage each other to feel beautiful that way. Now, that's a good day. That's a day worth celebrating. That's a day worth jumping up and down over. That's a day worth laughing and smiling, you know. That's a day worth releasing balloons into the air, into the atmosphere and watching them pop. Or to watch them go higher and higher into the atmosphere. The heights of which love, kind words, and the depths of his beauty, which is always on duty. We should allow, always to allow to reach its level, not only with its potential, but for, for what it does with what it is and how it does it. When it does it, it brings out the best in you. And it gets rid of and shakes off what does not work in you, the rest in you. Beautiful people. That's who I'm talking to and that's who I choose to talk to. There are beautiful people, even today, that I've been reaching out on my page in the comment section. Yes, I read the comment sections and, and I respond for about as much as I can for it, about the best, as, best that I can. You know, because on between, between uh, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok, it's a lot, it's a lot of people, a lot of you beautiful people, you know, and I love all you all. And, and, you know, I enjoy, you know, spending that time with you beautiful people. And, you know, some people are so funny. They say, he called us beautiful. <laughs> we are beautiful people. Yes, you are. We are beautiful together. Well, you beautiful people are reaching out to me and asking me for my support and for my help with some of the things, that, the traumatizations that you're going through. You know, and short of um, suicide, and some of you said that you've been there, you know, and you know not to go there. You know, well, I, I don't think myself to be, well, I don't know if I want to use the term therapist or psychiatrist. I, I don't know if I really want to go there or present it to you like that, you know, because, you know, when you're gifted to do something, that beautiful gift comes with power, you know, and education can teach that. Like a basketball player on a football player on the field, certain moves or certain, certain athletic things that they'll do, I often hear commentators and coaches say, you can't teach. And you can't, you can't not teach this. This is purely, surely and purely propelled by love. Oh, you see, and love covers, you know, a multitude of pain, abuse, sin, misuse. Love covers, love covers it all. Love covers everything. Love is the coding for which things that happen and occur on the underlayer, on the, the undercurrent that, that are stealth that you don't see. You see, love, love covers it. 
And the reason why it's gone stealth or on the under is because it has a great, great deal of respect for love and what love is and what love does and what love can do. Not capable of doing what love can and will do. That's respect. Yeah, so with those beautiful people who are reaching out to me and asking me for that help and that support, you know, they said they think that, you know, or would like to believe or they think or would li like to believe. I'm not saying it verbatim like they said it, you know, that I might just be the person that could give them the support or the help that they need. But I don't think myself to be something when I'm nothing. But that which I was created to be, my beautiful self. And with that being said, and what I do have, I freely give and I freely share. And yes, I would like to, and if you permit me to, to be that support system, you know, that you need and that you're looking for, because I love you. You know, if nobody have told any of you today that they love you and that they care about how you think and that they care about how you feel, well, I do love you and I do care about how you think and I do care about how you feel. If that wasn't the case, the sun's gone down and I'm still standing here shooting my last video. <laughs> And the, 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 the darker it get, the closer I push this phone to my face. Okay. Okay. Because I want you to, I, I, you know, I want you to be fed, bred, and led. And I want you to receive the nutrients from love. And, you know, the nutrition that love has and its fortitude that it gives to you to stand. You don't have to starve yourself. You know, you, you can eat and be healthy. And they are the most healthiest people there are in the world is those who do eat. These people are running around here, you know, uh, uh, just giving it all away. And, you know, a good gust of wind come along. They're ready to just fly away. I'm not trying to talk about anybody and put them down, but it is what it is. You know, and they think that they are because I'm watching how they react to me and the things that I hear them say. That, you know, that they think that they're better than people who eat. And people who eat meat, you know, and don't come around me if you eat meat and you eat sweets and don't get away from me. But, you know, look at you. You're fat and you're ugly. You know, no, you're the one that's ugly with that mindset, that, that mentality to think that way. That's an ugly way to think about somebody. That, don't you know how, how that can affect somebody? That kind of talk could drive somebody into, you know, depression. That's, you know, that's already sensitive with whatever it is that they might be going through. That hurts people's feelings to hear you talk like that. So, no, you're the one that is ugly because, you know, the real true exercise, healing and deliverance that needs to take place is on the inside, in your mind and in your soul. That's something you can't sweat out. I don't care how much you sweat, you can't sweat that out. You see? You need to work on yourself. You need to find the person in you that you really are, are that needs to come through. And that needs to come shining through to be you. Because you've been deceived. And look, they took, I said it before and I said it again. They took a gene from the fish when the winter crops are washing out. And then I'm going to get off this phone because it's getting dark. Err. And when the winter crops were watch, washing out, they took a gene from the fish and put it in the fruits and vegetables. I just myself watched some bananas sit on the counter for about three weeks. Maybe four, about three weeks. It took them about two weeks to start browning. And if anybody know anything about bananas, it do not take no three weeks for bananas to be totally and completely gone two or three days they're already browning but then that before that week is out or by the end of that week if you haven't used them you got to get rid of them so nobody's really eating healthy you just think you are the only healthy e eating nowadays is to pray over your food that's what it is and be done with it but to think that you're better than someone else anyone that thinks that way you know count themselves as nothing 
You think to be something when you're nothing. You deceive your own self. To all you beautiful people out there in the world, I love you and have a good evening.